you tonight a success story worth sharing. From Oak Ridge High School to UT, now a colonel in the United States Air Force. Deanna Ketterer's career has been nothing short of extraordinary. As WBIR 10 News reporter Luis Fernandez explains, uh, this reflection all started with a blast from the past. How many times do you put something in the basement and completely forget about it? So what did Harold Ketterer find when he was cleaning at the beginning of this year? I found a box and there were six or eight uh, old videotapes in it. And when I looked on this label, it was blank. So I had no idea what to expect from this tape. Who was staring back? There was WBIR TV on the screen. 28 years ago, his daughter, Deanna Ketterer, graduated from the University of Tennessee's ROTC program with a pilot's license, one of the first women to do so. And all her friends said, we need a follow-up story on that. Deanna Ketterer, or excuse me, Colonel Deanna Ketterer, works at Scott Air Force Base in Illinois as the reserve advisor to the 18th Air Force commander. Well, I didn't remember how much of an accent I had until I saw the video. Ketterer has come a long way since that accent, flying all kinds of aircrafts, working missions in five continents, even piloting high-ranking officials in the United States government, all while blazing a trail for women just like her. It's the way that I was raised. It, it wasn't, um, you can't do that. It's, it was always, well, why not? I didn't ever think of it in terms of being the first, although it is a pretty big deal. 28 years later, Harold is quick to show how proud he is of Deanna, from a cheerleader at Oak Ridge to serving her country in the air. And she's just experienced so many things. Very proud of her. And whether I make a difference today or down the road, or I'm, I'm always glad to do that because people have made a difference in my life. Still flying high over any obstacle in her way. Luis Fernandez, WBIR 10 News. Her dad tells us the colonel plans on retiring from the Air Force early next year, but she'll still stay in the air flying as a pilot for United Airlines.